Hello internet, I am Xenon and uh, welcome to another episode of my Terrascape server let's play. Um, just to start with I'd like to welcome um, more subs from Generic B. I think this is basically the um, third lot of, well third, um, yeah, lot of exposure that Generic B is giving me amongst his subs so yeah really um, thankful, f uh, f yeah, thankful to him for that, um, it's completely unexpected. Uh, this latest lot, of course, was obviously for the item elevator that I came up with. Wasn't sure if he was still interested in it, but uh, apparently he liked it, so that's all good. Now, for the new subs, I posted a video recently. Um, well, actually, most of us on Terrascape um, posted videos to our channels, uh, basically inviting our subs to um, apply to join the server, because we've um, not been experiencing too much lag uh, except for like today when I've been on I'm getting some block lag but this is kind of an isolated incident I think yeah, we, we haven't been experiencing pretty much any block lag for since uh, 1.3.2 came out so we decided to open it up um, to subs to have some more people join and uh, there's a video I posted with um, all the details of that so I'll put a link in the description for that if anybody's interested in uh, sending a video response in to try and get on the server. I have been messaging a few people back and forth, I don't actually have any video responses on there yet, but I know there's a few guys that are getting their stuff ready, so yeah, it should be fun when we eventually get someone on here that um, was originally one of our subs. Yeah, um, so I haven't actually posted an normal Let's Play video in a while, and it's been because I've been kind of busy. Um, busy in a couple of different ways. One um, was real life, but two, you can see I've got uh, a lot of redstone here. I've actually run out of room for my redstone, so I put another chest down here and I started using Silk Touch to get redstone ore instead. So I've been doing a fair amount of strip mining and that's because um, if you remember a while ago I posted something uh, to do with my villages and I'm going to do the floor of that um, because you need a transparent block and all of pistons so I need a lot of iron for that um, so I've been strip mining like crazy I think I need um, what is it 12 and a half stacks of pistons and this here is enough for like 13 and a half plus the other pistons I've already got so yeah, I've got a lot of iron, I've uh, been mining gold and everything, and yeah, then there's, what's this, my coal, yeah, lot, lots of coal, more, and if there's anything useful in that, yeah, just end the Yeah, um, you might be wondering where all my diamond is from the strip money I've been doing, it's in here, there you go, stack of diamond ore plus seven, I do have 14 three picks, so those are just waiting until I can be bothered to do it basically. I was thinking of doing something interesting and seeing how much experience I get from mining that so um, when, I, when I need it, either probably this episode or next one, I'll <laughs> do a time lapse of me mining that out but I also used up most of the, the rest of my uh, diamond and did a whole bunch of enchanting so I'll just show you what enchants I've got. So there's a couple of fortune three there uh, these are my work picks. That one's just yeah, that one there is just efficiency four, not too good, but yeah, you know, got that one. Then this was another new enchant too. Then things here are all my silk touch picks, and this one I've actually been using down in the strip mine to get a whole bunch of smooth stone as well as all the ores. And a couple of work shovels, same as that one. Then I had that axe a while ago. This one's pretty good, except fortune three. It's kind of weird. Not sure what that would do if that gives me more saplings or apples. I know I have to try it out sometime. Yeah, a uh, couple of bows. Not sure which ones are the new ones. Oh, these two are the same. Yeah, uh, a couple of swords. That one's not too bad at all. Uh, that one's just looting three. I'm not really going to use it for anything else. Yeah, my armor was also pretty dead, so I enchanted a whole new set of armor. Um, so that one's alright, got my Respiration 3 again, um, last time I think I had projectile protection on it, now it's Blast, and I've also got Aqua Affinity, so that's not too bad. Protection 3, and Protection 3, so last time I had Protection 4 on the legs, and Projectile, protect yeah, projectile protection 4 on the chest, so I think this works out to be a little better. 
and that one's projectile protection, but it's also got feather falling, so I'm really happy to have that on my boots. Save me for some uh, untimely deaths. Yeah, now that I've um, shown off all my busy little work, I'm going to grab all the uh, wood. Where was the wood? Here it is. Yeah, you can see I've got this little bit of lag that's just hanging around. I'm not sure how noticeable it is for you guys, but kind of driving me a little nuts. Yeah, grab all the wood, all the iron, um, that, and I need redstone dust. I'm not sure. I want to take dust or or hmm. Yeah, that's only going to give me for seven stacks, so I might have to take ore and a 14 3 pick. I think I've got a chest over there, so it should be alright. Uh, yep, yeah, take that. So yeah, uh, full inventory. Time to head over there and start working on that village, so see you when I get there. It's a little bit of a walk. Okay, so here we are over at the village. As you can see, I already started um, on the pistons a while ago. I think I originally came over here with like four or five stacks. Uh, maybe It doesn't really look like that many. Maybe it was only two or three. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll start laying this out, see how many... Oop, see how far I get. God, the lag. And then it doesn't help if I shoot over his head. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. So th this server is with uh, Cube Toast, and I know the guys on Home at Craft have been having issues with them lately. We haven't been, but I know maybe this is the start of it. Yeah, um, one thing I always uh, forget to mention, there's, you know, I, I always have a list, well not always, but sometimes I have a list of things I want to say. Oh god, this chest is terrible. A lot of doors. Huh. Well, let's use this bed. Make it day. Ah, stupid zombie. Die. Like, there we go. Yeah, I, sometimes I have a list of things to say, and one thing I always forget is to mention the um, details of the server. <laughs> we we play on hard mode, so the thing in 1.3 where creepers do more damage now is um, a real threat. That's why when Blout uh, joined the server recently, uh, we gave him a full set of enchanted iron armor. Sim was the one um, generous enough to donate the iron and sit there and enchant it, so he's a pretty good guy. Yeah, that all uh, managed to keep Blout alive for a little if he gets snuck up on by a creeper. The rest of us, I think except Zero, all walk around in diamond armor. But that's mainly just because we have the diamond, so. You know, we, we strip mine, we do a lot of hard work that we don't actually post in our videos. Why do I have pressure plates in here? Let's just... I can go in there. Let's just throw some of this junk over the fence. We're out the gate, there we go. I don't even know where those pressure plates came from. Oh, they would have been the tables that were in the original village. Okay. But yeah, um, and the server is also SMP, like 100% legitimate, we do not use cheats or hacks or anything. I think the only thing that um, was done recently was Cobalt toggled down for when Blout was about to join the server for the first time because we didn't want to have rain in all of our videos plus his first side of the server be pouring rain. So that that was um, the largest extent of any kind of server commands. And I'm going to struggle to talk and actually do stuff at the same time but let's see if I can actually get my button to gear. Oh, and I didn't bring any... dang it. I should have brought like at least a stack of dust to get me started, but I'll... I've noticed uh, redstone ore actually does give a fair bit of XP, which is pretty good, and I just completely tore a hole in the ground. God. I'll be happy when they um, change this so that um, their high efficiency items only work on what they're meant to instead of everything. It's been annoying. Yeah, um, so yeah, 100% legit SMP. And there's another thing that I've been meaning to talk about for a while but have, never have is my uploading schedule. Um, I generally try to upload. Oh, I didn't even bring any cobblestone. 
Arr, okay. This this is the end. Hmm. You have to chug some stuff. I always make a new chest. That'll work. I always make another double chest. Because I'm an idiot and don't have enough wood. That that's why I don't make one. There we go. Yeah, um, sorry about this, but I'm just going to dump everything in here. Quickly run back, grab a bunch of cobblestone, and I'll see you in a second. Hopefully I won't forget what I was talking about. I think it was uploading schedule. Yeah, be right back. Okay, so back with the cobblestone. Brought a whole bunch. I also filled the ender chest with it, so I can grab more out of that if I need it. Um, meantime, let's make stack of pistons. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this. That'll be four, yep, yeah, that's enough. Uh, because it'll probably get annoying if I keep running back to make a stack at a time, but I don't want to make too many. So I might just uh, see how long a stack lasts me and then um, use that to estimate how many I'm gonna need. I I've kind of already calculated it by counting, but it was a rough count, so could have been wrong. But yeah, I was talking about uploading schedule, and when I first started uploading videos, I was happy to do like one a week, and that was good back then. Then I started doing something like two a week, and then since I've been on the server, I've been uploading a lot more. Like I think I've uploaded the most videos out of anybody. Well, oh, sorry, <clears throat> out of anybody on the server. So. I I upload a fair bit of content. Um, I'm trying to bring in different games. I tried Wonder Boy, um, that never got any views and no comments. I'm not sure. I think the first episode at least got a like, but no one really liked it. So I didn't want to bother. So that was like three. God, I need a lot. Yeah, I I didn't want to bother. Um, uh, yeah, recording and uploading that if no one's going to watch it. I don't do this for money because if you've not noticed, um, there shouldn't be any ads on my videos so they don't monetize them. I do it for fun and it wasn't fun for me to put the effort into recording and posting videos that no one's going to watch. But um, I'm trying to make this a bit more of a gaming channel but still mainly Minecraft based because that's what uh, most of my audience will want to see because that's what I started doing first and I'm going to keep on doing it but yeah so at the moment I think I've got Orcs Must Die I upload every other day and then alternate to that I upload my series with SD in uh, Waking Up uh, so that's the general plan at the moment but that fills up every day basically I'm uploading a video per day which for me is pretty crazy. Um, I was never really planning to keep that kind of schedule, but at the moment I have got a fair bit of recorded content so I can do it. Uh, this probably won't always happen in the future. But yeah, that um, kind of doesn't leave me any free days to upload stuff like this Let's Play or the item elevator, so basically some days there will be two videos. Um, or three if I feel that eager. That should be enough for now. Oops, there is. There. Um, so, yeah, it all just depends, but in general, there's going to be, you know, waking up and Orcs Must Die alternating until Orcs Must Die finishes, then I might fill the gap with something else, or I might not. Just have to wait and see. Um, the other chest. There we go. See how this lag is so annoying. Where did the iron blocks go? This chest. No damage. Seeing what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, uploading schedule's a little up in the air at the moment, but we'll manage, we'll get there, and that's too much cobble. Need that. So yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say on the uploading schedule. I think that's the other way around, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's something, like, like I said, there's, I always forget what I'm 
planning to say, or I miss out bits, but when I was talking about the strip mining before, um, I was meant to say it's not that it's just that I've been doing a lot of strip mining. I originally started strip mining in the Extreme Hills biome, just below the little house I've got. Uh, the ladder there leads down to that. And I was not getting many diamonds at all. I, I was strip mining for ages, like I've got heaps of tunnel shafts down there going everywhere with those little poke holes and stuff. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with that style of strip mining. Uh, but yeah, I, I just wasn't getting much diamond and then I think Generic B started playing on the Minecraft server. Uh, yeah, it should be alright. Yeah, Generic B started playing on the Minecraft server. He was in an Extreme Hills biome and he's going, I'm not getting much diamond. And I'm not sure, I don't think the other guys have done as much strip mining in there. Extreme Hills by him on this server compared to me. But it just doesn't seem to many, be many diamonds at all. It seems to mainly be emeralds. Um, well, <laughs> there isn't that many emeralds either, but it seems to be that basically because um, they have emeralds in that biome, they've reduced the spawning of diamond, which I think is a bit unfair because they not don't have enough emerald in there to account for that huge loss of diamond, so it, it's pretty stupid move on their part, they really need to balance that better. Um, I don't think there was anything on the wiki about it, probably because last time I looked it was still in the snapshot, uh, because we started the server on the snapshot, and nothing had been posted, so yeah, I don't, sh I don't know if it's um, true or not, but it definitely seems that way, like I did oh, probably about four hours of strip mining uh, in the Extreme Hills biome and got a whole 40 diamond using Fortune 3 then I've just moved my strip mine to the uh, jungle biome and after two hours I got 60 diamond ore and I accidentally broke two of those with a Fortune 3 pick so it was basically 62 and then yeah. I've just recently gone and done a bit more strip mining and I wasn't as lucky I think I only found like two veins of diamond, but it's still a lot more than I was getting in the Extreme Hills biome, so yeah, it's a bit um, strange, but all I can say is I'm never making a base in Extreme Hills again. It's a very bad idea. I like the way the terrain looks, but there's higher density of caves in Extreme Hills biome than any other biome, so it's terrible if you want to make a mob farm, and there's no diamonds in them, so they're a waste of time. And emeralds, or well, you get more from villages they ever do mining, so it's just pointless to make a base in extreme hills. Unless you're purely just doing stuff that doesn't involve um, mob farms and you're not playing to strip mine there. But yeah, um, how's this boring? Bit there. This video is a bit boring, it's just me laying out pistons and making them and stuff. Figured I'd use it to um, tell you some of my plans. Now normally in a video um, I'd like to cut out this boring stuff that I'm doing right now and I was planning to but I did basically I wanted to put a video up now to welcome my new subs and let them know about the joining competition thing and I hadn't had a chance to work on this yet so here we are. Um, so in, in general when on the Let's Play episodes I'll try and keep this boring building stuff um, like off recordings and I'll just show you the progress like I was sort of doing that with my underground base I haven't done any work on that recently but it's been all strip money I've spent all my time in friggin caves in a 2 by one hole looking for shining sparkly things but yeah um, so in, in general I'll leave this stuff out and my main content of videos will be you know, doing something interesting, building a new type of farm, um, showing you what I'm doing, yada yada yada, all that kind of stuff. And this lag is really weird. I've noticed these torches are all completely glitched out too, I can't pick them up, which is kind of funny. I don't care about them, but yeah. Um, so, in line with that, I do have a lot of plans for different farms and huge plans for my base design in general that's going to take me absolutely ages to complete all. Um, I know some of the other guys kind of running out of ideas. I haven't even gotten started on my ideas. So 
just got that many things I want to do with it and it's going to take a fair while so I'll keep the videos coming basically I knew that was going to happen oh, come on, give me the sand but yeah um, either, well hopefully next episode I want to get my mushroom farm design up now mushroom farms haven't been done as much recently as they once were uh, because the spreading of mushrooms was nerfed but I've spent so much time on mushroom farms I, I know mushrooms pretty bloody well now um, it, it's it's not a good thing to know them that well they're, they're boring as all heck but um, yeah I'll give you the benefit of my experience and I'll show you the progress of what I've done and that's actually part of how my redstoning skills have grown uh, through doing lots of different mushroom farms. Alright, block lag is annoying. Not only did it not break the redstone, it pushed me and made me broke another block. <sighs> made me break, not made me broke, but... Yeah, um... So I'll give you the benefit of my mushroom farm experience, and it'll be a fully automatic farm, just like all the rest of mine will be, because that's the whole point of my base. I have fully automatic farms feeding to a single point. Uh, so yeah, you can expect that soon. Like, how did that even get placed? Look, stupid lag. Um, I think that's about it. My mushroom farm side is a torch. Okay, that's how it got placed. Uh, iron farm. I mentioned that I'll do one in my little like villager exploitation video. Um, not entirely sure when that is. It depends what my need for iron is because when you're strip mining down at like Y12 with your head level so you're standing on Y10 uh, it's rich in diamond but there's stuff all iron uh, down there you get it, you get everything except iron basically it's really weird um, so if I don't feel like strip mining at a higher level to get more iron then it'll be worth making an iron farm because I'm always going to need more pistons all my farms are going to require stacks of pistons Maybe not literally stacks, but a lot. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see on the iron farm. It's not a huge concern right now, but it's something that will be coming up at some point, just depending on when my need uh, for it is big enough that I feel like going to make it. And I already used all that cobblestone. Holy crap, I'm going to have to make another trip back. Um, I want to put this somewhere that it's not going to be in the way because they're paying the ass to move. Okay. Um, so yeah, then gold farm. Um, I know SD wanted a gold farm built um, cause, and I mentioned that I had a design for one. Yeah, this is going to be annoying. Let's chuck some stuff out of my inventory. Uh, but that was because he wanted to finish off something in his base and I actually traded him the uh, gold blocks for, that he needed in exchange for a diamond block so I don't think he needs it that badly anymore but gold farm is um, pretty high on the list of what I'm going to be doing soon and that's just because I've I've had the idea in my head for ages and recently because with um, pigments you can't use water basically Gold farm designs double as um, end farm designs. So I'm going to play around with... Um, I, I basically got two designs in my head. And I want to build the best one, and I'll probably do the same thing in the nether for pigmen, and then I'll go clear out another end zone, and I'll build it there and see what kind of XP rates I get. Just because I'm curious. Ah, oh, cobble sucks. Yeah, just because I'm curious exactly what um, will happen. It's that way. Um, so yeah, you can look forward to that. I'll show both my designs uh, before I go into which one's more efficient. Uh, which means I'll have to actually build both my designs in my creative world, so that'll be fun. One of them will be absolutely pointless in the end, so always nice to know that my hard work isn't going to go to waste. Yeah, so you have that to look forward to. Um, I'll also build a blaze farm. I've never built one before, but I've seen the popular Etho design. 
because Krillic and SD build it on this server. Gosh, dang it. See if I can, there we go, just the piston. Yeah, Krillic and Etho build it on this server. Shoot you villagers. Come on, out of the way. Shoot. I'm tempted to punch him. But he's a smith. Um, and I noticed um, back when we were using them for XP farms that it's not 100% efficient, that if you basically set it so that you can get them for a one hit kill by punching, a whole bunch of them die when they get crushed, and that's because when they're being pushed down they suffer some suffocation damage because the pistons are all at their head height, and I've actually come up with a fix for that. Um, it's a slightly different farm design, I haven't actually built it, I've got a proof of concept when I test world so I know it's going to work. Um, so it, it could just be seen as an alteration to Ethos rather than a completely new thing, but it's going to be very simple and easy for me to build so I'll probably just build that outside of a recording and then um, show it to you at uh, some stage. So yeah, you got lace farm to look forward to, also on my base I'll do a melon and pumpkin farm. Uh, generic bees design for fully automatic melon and pumpkin farm is absolutely awesome but I'm gonna try and do something different I think I tried modifying something a while ago and it didn't work but I can't remember why so know a bit more about redstone than I did back then so I'm gonna give it another try figure out exactly what went wrong last time it might have been something stupid I know then uh, I also want to do a proper wheat farm so I can breed my cows and pigs and that will probably also double as my nether wart farm design because essentially those are the same now because um, you can put them in the overworld you plant both of them um, they both pop out the ground for the harvest then you have to replant so you can use water to harvest both so they're pretty much identical um, and I've just got to figure out exactly how I want to do it and yeah, I need to cough there we go, left the mute button uh, then I'm also going to do a mob farm. Uh, that, that will be something huge in the making. And again, similar to my pigman and end farms, um, I've got a couple of designs floating around in my head, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to end up using uh, when I actually build it. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah, uh, I think this video has probably gone for long enough now. It's been, I guess, about like 25, 30 minutes of me just rambling. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to turn some of these upside down to get a bit of a better pattern. The ones all the way around the outside are going to be upside down to make a border. And then I'll figure out some kind of pattern. I'm just doing them right side up to get them down on the floor. Then I can break them from when I'm underneath and turn them around um, to make it look better. Yeah, so that's my plans for this. Hopefully next episode this will all be done and I can just show you the finished product and the insane amount of villagers I'll have. Yeah, um, if you stick around there's an outro on this video. Cobalt um, made it and he's been using it on his for a while and he's recently given it to um, the rest of us that wanted it. So I have an outro now. It's pretty awesome. Um, you should check out Cobalt and the other guys, They're all the links to their channels are in the description. Uh, they're a really cool bunch of guys, um, really fun to play Minecraft with and other games, so yeah, coughing again. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, check them out, um, subscribe to them if you like their stuff. If not, then uh, don't subscribe, I guess. You know, it's your, it's your life, you got in control. But yeah. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.